हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेविंग हैंड साइन ए आईओ एजुकेशन चैनल में आपका फिर से स्वागत है आज हम क्लास एट साइंस का चैप्टर टू द इनविजिबल लिविंग वर्ल्ड का फुल एनिमेटेड एक्सप्लेनेशन लेकर आए हैं जिसमें हम समझेंगे सेल्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स और उनका हमारी लाइफ में क्या रोल है वो भी सिंपल इंग्लिश और क्लियर एग्जाम्पल्स के साथ तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं बिना किसी डेरी के वी लिव इन अ वर्ल्ड वे नॉट एवरीथिंग इज विजिबल टू आर नेकेड आईज ऑल अराउंड अस इन एयर वॉटर एंड इवन इन साइड आर बॉडीज देर एग्जिस्ट्स एन इनविजिबल लिविंग वर्ल्ड मेड अप ऑफ टाइनी ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड सेल्स दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर सो स्मॉल दैट वी के नॉट सी देम विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ स्पेशल टूल्स लाइक मैग्नीफाइंग ग्लासेज और माइक्रोस्कोप्स लॉन्ग अगो पीपल हैड नो आइडिया अबाउट दिस हिडन वर्ल्ड But everything changed in 1665 when Robert Hooke used a simple microscope and observed a thin slice of cork. He saw tiny box-like structures and named them cells. Around the same time, Antony van Leeuwenhoek improved lenses and built a better microscope. He became the first person to observe living microorganisms like bacteria, and for this, he is called the father of microbiology. All living organisms, whether plants, animals, or even humans, are made up of cells a cell is the smallest unit of life that can perform all essential life processes every cell has three main parts the cell membrane which controls the movement of substances in and out the cytoplasm where all cell functions take place and the nucleus which controls the cell's activities in plant cells there are some extra parts like the cell wall for structure chloroplasts for photosynthesis and vacuoles for storage To study these tiny cells, we can perform simple experiments. In one activity, we peel a thin layer from the inside of an onion and stain it with safranin. When observed under a microscope, the cells look like bricks arranged closely together. In another activity, we collect cells from the inside of our cheek using a toothpick, stain them with methylene blue, and observe them. These cells appear round and scattered. Unlike plant cells, animal cells do not have a cell wall. The shape of a cell often depends on its function. For example, muscle cells are spindle-shaped to allow stretching and movement, nerve cells are long and branched to carry messages throughout the body, and plant cells are tube-like to carry water and nutrients. The body of every organism is organized in different levels, starting from a cell, then tissues, then organs, then organ systems, and finally the whole organism. Now let's enter the world of microorganisms, tiny living beings that cannot be seen with the naked eye. These include bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae, and viruses. Some microorganisms are unicellular, made of one cell, like amoeba and bacteria, while others are multicellular, like molds and some algae. They are found everywhere, in pond water, soil, air, food, and even inside our bodies. In an activity to observe pond water, we collect a drop and view it under a microscope. We might see organisms like amoeba, paramecium, or green algae. In another activity, we take moist soil, mix it with water to create a soil suspension, and observe it. This too shows microorganisms like bacteria and fungi, proving that even soil is full of microscopic life. These microbes are not just tiny; they are powerful and useful. They play a major role in cleaning our environment by decomposing waste material into manure. In a simple activity, we can place fruit and vegetable peels in a container of soil and leave it for a few weeks. The microbes present in the soil will break down the waste into dark-colored compost, a natural fertilizer. Bacteria like rhizobium live in the root nodules of legume plants and help fix nitrogen from the air, which improves soil fertility. Microbes also help us in many kitchen processes. Yeast, a type of fungus, is used to make dough rise. When we add yeast, sugar, and warm water to flour and leave it covered, the dough becomes fluffy due to the carbon dioxide released by yeast. Similarly, curd is made using bacteria like Lactobacillus, which turn milk into curd by fermenting the sugar in it. These bacteria grow well in warm conditions, which is why curd sets faster in a warm environment. Another exciting use of microbes is in the production of biogas. Some bacteria live in oxygen-free environments and break down animal and plant waste to release gases like methane, which is used as a fuel for cooking and electricity. A well-known Indian scientist, Dr. Ananda Chakraborty, developed a bacterium that could clean all spills and received a patent for it in 
We also have a group of microbes called microalgae that live in water and produce more than half of Earth's oxygen. Examples like spirulina and chlorella are rich in protein and vitamins and are used in health supplements. These tiny algae are also being researched for making biofuels and cleaning wastewater. In conclusion, the cell is the building block of all life. Whether it is a single-celled organism like bacteria or a complex organism like a human, everything begins with a cell. Microorganisms, though invisible to us, play a huge role in our lives, from cleaning our planet and growing our food to producing energy and helping us stay healthy. Understanding this invisible world not only increases our knowledge but also helps us respect and protect the tiny life forms that keep our ecosystem running. I hope you now understand the entire invisible world of cells and microorganisms. If this video helped you, make sure to like thumbs up sign it and comment below which activity or fact you like the most. And ha, agar aap channel pe naye ho, to AIO education ko subscribe, class 8 science ke aur bhi chapters animated for me regularly. Thanks for watching, milte hai next video mein.